welcome back to Midnight Violets. Today I'm just gonna do a chatty get ready with me video. I kind of already got a look in my head of what I want to do. Um, so it's gonna be quite dramatic, colourful ombre eyeliner, kind of tropical colours type thing. Obviously it really goes well with cupcakes. I did actually wear a very similar look a few days ago, but it was using a lot of limited edition eyeshadows, which I think probably is going to be a pain in the bum for you guys, so I'm going to try and recreate it with things that you can buy and things that are not too expensive. I say that though, I'm actually going to start with the MAC Prep and Prime Skin Base, um, purely because I have a little sample of it and I kind of just want to use it up to get it out of my makeup collection. I'm kind of on a bit of a, I was going to say binge, that's not quite the right word, I'm on a mission to try and reduce the amount of makeup I have but without wasting things. So I'm trying to use things up, so I'm kind of aiming for the products that have not that much left in them, the smaller products, and also kind of the cream products that I'm going to last as long as the things that I've had for longest, just so I can get the most use out of everything. So next I'm just going to go with this Max Factor CC Corrector Concealer. I've been seeing a lot on um, Instagram and Twitter at the moment that so many brands are bringing out corrector sticks at the moment or will be releasing them soon. This one's the green one by the way, so I'm not going to put it under my eyes because the green ones are more aimed at um, getting rid of redness in the skin. I wonder if you can tell the difference. It does, I think, lighten the colour of my skin, this one, so if you have a really deep skin plane, you might have issues with this making your skin a bit ashy. I'm just going back to my old favourite, the Smooth Matte Mousse Foundation. I am in love with this stuff, I've told you so many times. You're probably sick to death of me talking about it. If you've ever wondered where you can get autograph from, it's a brown that they carry in Marks and Spencers here in the UK. Just going to give a light dusting of powder over my skin just to set the foundation, um, and then I'm going to go back in with my under eye concealer once I've done my eyeshadow just to cover it all up. Probably should have just done all of this after, but it's done now, and I'm not taking it off just to reapply it. Also, by the way, if you're wondering why I have my nails painted on one hand and not the other, this is what happens when you have babies. You do one hand thinking, okay, I've got a free hand if I need it. And then you never get around to doing the other hand. I don't know why I still show you what I do with my brows because it is exactly the same every single time. It's just the Makeup Revolution Arch and Shape. I don't know, would you call it like pencil? To hold it all in place, I'm just using a bit of the Rimmel Brow this way. And for some reason, this is called Medium Blonde. Tell me people, if you have blonde hair, is this an eyebrow product you would use? I would say it's definitely more for people with darker hair. Talking of hair, I'm consider well, I'm not considering, I am gonna dye my hair. I'm umming and ahhing whether to go back to the dark brown that I had before, don't know if you remember it, or to go for something a bit different and do it navy blue. I don't want to do any bright colours because I don't really want to bleach my hair. But I have some navy blue that I've used before that I'm pretty sure will take over the colour my hair is at the moment. And I just don't know which one to go with. Navy blue, like a nice dark dark navy blue or dark brown like Snow White star like I had before. This is the Essence I Heart Stage eyeshadow base by the way. I'm just going to start with the basics and I'm going to highlight my brow bone. So I'm just going to use this shade here. This is in the W7 Naked Nudes eyeshadow palette. So this is a really nice little palette actually. In fact I actually bought this one on my honeymoon. Just going to put that under my brow bone. Probably doesn't show up so well on the camera um, but this has an ever so slight sheen to it so it's not a shimmering highlight and it's not a matte highlight it's kind of just a satiny glow and i'm just going to use the same palette in a mix of these two here and i'm just going to put this through my crease i'm mainly using the darker shade though if you're wondering why i've just switched brush halfway through it's because i actually just dropped the other one on the floor um and it's kind of gone under my bed. 
and I had a cesarean a few weeks ago so I'm not gonna go crawling under there that can just stay there till later and my husband can pick that up for me so I'm just gonna use some tape on my eyes this is actually microporous tape so it's kind of this tape that you stick like dressings and stuff down with um, you can get it in like Tesco's and Boots and all those kind of places I'm just sticking it on the back of my hand just so it's a little less sticky so I don't have to like rip it off under my eyes I just having to rip plaster off from under your eye. Not good. And I'm just going to place that just under my eye. At a slight angle like that. I'm going to start with this blue shade in the Give Them Nightmares palette for Makeup Revolution. It's called Danger Coming. I don't think we're in any danger today though. How pigmented that is. And I'm just going to add this on the outer corner. And drag it down onto the lid as well. You don't have to use the same colours as me for this. If you kind of like the idea of it, but don't like blue or green, because I'm, um, spoiler alert, I'm going to use green in a minute, um, then use different colours. I think it'd be really cool with like pink and orange as well, or just black going into another colour on the inner corner. Whatever floats your boat. And then for the rest of the shadows, I'm going to use the Colour Chaos palette. I'm just going to use the other side of this brush. This is a Urban Decay shadow brush, by the way. And I'm going to pick this blue here, Wild. Oh no, WKD. Probably only English people will get that reference, but um, there's this horrible alcoholic kind of... I don't know what, I don't know what you call it. It's like... Um, what are they called? Alco Pops. Like those kind of made to not taste like alcohol, alcoholic drinks. Um, called WKD and it's bright blue, so that's probably where the side shadow gets its name from. So I'm just putting this um, next to that dark blue and pulling it down further onto my eyelid. Then I'm going to use this green here, Tip X. I'm pointing at this one, sorry, not very good pointing skills there. So I'm just putting this on the inner lid and buffing it in with that blue as well. I'm just putting a tiny, tiny amount of it through the crease. I didn't do this last time, but I kind of want to just pull this look together a bit more. You know how when you recreate the same look over and over, it kind of evolves into different things? This is kind of what's going on here. I actually think I prefer these colour choices than the ones I used before. The uh, limited edition ones that I didn't really want to create a look with because I wanted you guys to be able to use the colours that I'm showing if you ever wanted to. I don't know, do you guys actually ever recreate the looks I do or do you kind of just watch for fun? I'm one of those people who when I watch YouTube videos or tutorials, I don't really recreate the look. I might kind of use aspects of it or go, oh I really like that eyeshadow she used for example. And then on the inner corner I'm just going to use this one here called I Said Go. It's kind of like a greeny yellow kind of shade. This one's really pigmented so I'm just going to use a tiny bit. Last time I did this, I went in with like full on black eyeliner on top of the um, eyeshadow I've created. But I think this time I'm going to go a bit softer. I'm just going to use a little bit of a black eyeshadow. So I'm just going with the matte one from the Give Them Nightmares palette again, but it doesn't really matter. So I'm just applying it really softly and not pulling it too far into the inner part of my eye. And then just blending it. And I think now is the time to take off this tape and do the reveal of what it looks like.
So you can see why we use that tape to get like a really defined line. If you don't have any tape, what I used to do was I used to just put it all on, on your skin, and you can use like a cotton bud or a Q-tip, same thing, um, um, with a bit of makeup remover and like clean up the lines, but the tape is definitely easier. I'm just gonna clean up underneath now, so I'm just gonna use a brush to brush away any loose powder. For my under eyes, I'm just using this MUA under eyes your skin. I don't know what it's called, is it? Radiant Under Eye Concealer. This is one of the only under eye concealers I found that actually kind of brightens under my eye. I always find that they're not light enough to actually, my hair is driving me mad, I'm not light enough to actually do anything because my skin is so pale. Just gonna set under my eyes now. Um, I do sometimes use like a yellowy powder, but I don't seem to have brought one over to my filming area with me. So I'm just gonna go in with the same one that I use the rest of my face. Which is the Gosh Primer and Set. I don't know if I even said that earlier. I always list all the products I use in the box down below though, if you ever wonder or I don't mention something. This eyeliner I'm using is supposedly purple. It's um, an NYC Gliss Liner in Paparazzi Purple. I would say it's definitely kind of blue. It's not really the best eyeliner though, to be honest with you. It's kind of just something I'm using for the colour. And then just some black on the waterline. Some mascara to finish off the eyes, although this look is probably one that's really gonna look a lot better with fake eyelashes, but today's just not my day for fake eyelashes. I mean, I can't even put my mascara on, can I? I really can't put mascara on, I've got it on my chin now as well. I am fully aware that I have mascara on my chin, but I'm leaving it to dry so I don't make a mess removing it rather than smearing it and making it worse. Um, so let's just finish off my face while it's there and you can just ignore it. Um, I'm gonna go quite subtle. I'm gonna go quite subtle on my face. I'm just using this blush from Sleek called Suede. No, called Coral. Although Suede is basically the same color to be honest with you. And I'm just putting that on the backs of my cheeks. I don't know why they call it the back. I mean, it's kind of like the far side. And I'm just going to put a little bit onto the rosy part. Balls. Maybe I should cut that out. I probably shouldn't just say the balls. And then for some highlights. I'm just going to use this palette from Makeup Revolution. It's their highlighter palette in Radiant Lights. I only use the one in the middle. I believe these are sold separately, but I don't know what the shade name for this one is. It is the lightest one though. And this is a very, very subtle highlighter. So I'm just going to put that on top of my cheeks. And pull it onto this part of my cheek as well. And then the excess on my brush kind of just brushing the parts of my face that I want some more glow. So the middle of my forehead, down my nose. There we go, chin fixed. And then again for my lips I want to go kind of subtle but not completely nude. Because um, these eyes are rather dramatic. So I'm just going to use this one here. Which is not a subtle lip colour but I'm going to apply it really lightly. It's the Bourjois Rouge Edition Velvet in Peach Club. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to dab a little bit on and then blend it in with my finger. So there we go, that's the finished look guys. I hope you enjoyed watching this. Sorry, I just banged my mirror on my bed banisters right in front of me like drums. If you did enjoy the video then don't forget to subscribe down below that would be awesome um i hope you all have a fantastic day or evening whatever time of day it is that you're watching this and i will speak to you again soon thanks for watching guys bye